Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy on Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework project work series. In last video, we discussed about the contact application requirement, databases, processes and flow and we also discussed about the wireframe designing which is nothing but a mock screen designing. In this current video, I am going to talk about the project architecture which is very important when it comes to the real software development. So let's have a look at the architecture. So this is the architecture I am going to follow throughout the application. So let me take you through the layers one by one. The very first layer is a client layer. So this is the browser side where the client will send the request to the application. All the requests will be listened by the front controller which is your dispatcher servlet in your MVC framework. So all the request will be uh, all the incoming request will be listened by the front controller which is dispatcher servlet and this dispatcher servlet will delegate call to the controller. Right. So in this MVC layer there are three major components controllers, model and view. Controllers are handling uh, the client request, receiving the client request. Models are representing the data and views will uh, be your final presentation delivered to the client. So the final result will be your view. Right now when someone requests from the browser the request will be received by front controller and then it is delegated to the controller. Controller will communicate to the DAO and services to uh, process the task or to access some data from the database or to save some data into database or do some other task like sending the email, storing, uploading some file or something like this. So business logic will be processed by the service layer or DAO layer. So controller can communicate to the DAOs which is data access object and in and services uh, will be the another component here which is handling the business logic so dao and services both are interfaces and the great part is controller is communicating uh, communicate controller it is interacting with the service layer through the interfaces now uh, let's talk about the dao so this data access object is a uh, this dao class will provide the operations for a single table. So mostly CRUD operations like insert, update, delete, select. So these are the operations based on single table will be provided by this DAO interface. So DAO will be handling the single table insert, update, delete, select operations. And we, we required here implementation which can be Im done by any technology like uh, here I am going to implement DAO interfaces through this Spring JDBC template and uh, but there is a scope to change the implementation using Hibernate or some other technologies like Hibernate, Java Persistent API or Toplink or some other JDBC based technologies. So it can be done through any technology. But here I am stick to the Spring JDBC template. So DAO can be implemented here using a Spring JDBC template. So this is the uh, DAO implementation class. And this class will internally uh, make use of uh, JDBC driver to communicate to the database server. So it's an internal part. Similarly, uh, we are using here services as an interface which will be interacting to the controller but we required implementation so services can be uh, implemented through the database uh, JDBC template because the services can use some database task and the services can use some other task like sending the email or uh, sending some SMS or any other customized job so we have two different row uh, classes here uh, DAO and services DAO is mostly working for single table operations and services are handling the customized business logic but there is a provision to reuse your DAOs in services. So when it, it, when it comes to service implementation, service layer is nothing but your business layer and uh, look at this, 
services can communicate to the database as well as services can communicate to email server and services can communicate to the FTP server whereas DAO is only communicating to the database so DAO is only made for database task handling and services can communicate to the database as well as the other resources and this layer is an enterprise information system where your data is available so databases uh, database can be there email server is there and FTP server is there or other some other repositories will be there in this enterprise information system and now we are implementing the interfaces here and the great part is these implementations DAO implementation and service implementation is not visible to the controller means you can change the implementation anytime and the changes will not reflect to the controller right so this is what we are going to follow here and uh, this part this particular part this is called a middleware service component where we have introduced DAO and services and some other things are also available in this layer like your message oriented middleware transaction handling so all these things are part of the middleware service components and spring can manage all these components so when you uh, develop your application using a spring technology spring framework so these are all the beans and managed by the spring and we call this layer as a application layer so this particular uh, part is your application layer and it is managed by spring and this part is a web layer it's a MVC layer and this MVC layer is also part of the uh, spring managed components now two more classes uh, two more uh, roles we use here for the class here uh, for the classes one is command command is basically prepare, used to communicate with the form it is uh, useful in preparing the form and uh, yeah, taking the data from the form preparing the prefilled form which is done by the command so command is your object which is working in between controller and view but we have one domain classes here we required here domain classes and DTOs I forget to add here just a moment I need to add here one more class it's a domain class so these are the another components we required just a moment here two more components we have DTO and domains so domains are the POJO classes which is actually uh, uh, map to your database table which is much more similar to the database table just like when you come to the ORM object relational uh, mapping we create uh, we create uh, classes for each table so when you have 10 tables in database we create 10 classes so these are the POJO classes so domain class is much more similar to your database table where you have uh, as where you have different properties just like your database columns and you can create multiple objects to represent multiple data records so something like this so domain class will be the POJO class and we required uh, operations on the domain class through the DAO and services and we can prepare some customized data formats with the help of DTOs data transfer objects and why data transfer objects are important here look at this here we have two different layers one is your application layer this part is your business logic and this is your application layer and this is your web layer and web layer is communicating to the application layer to exchange some data so that data uh, the the data exchange between these two layers will be done in the form of data transfer objects some customized POJO classes and domain objects or some list so these are the pattern so to communicate the data between these two layers data transfer objects are playing a key role in this area right and one important thing we can talk here the services and DAOs are based on domain driven design so it's a strategy to develop the business logic because the whole operations in this area are all based on the domain classes and one important rule we follow here 
uh, domain class is a very 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 useful uh, reusable class this domain can be taken to the controller no problem and the domain can be represented to view also so even this is not the problem but it is strongly rec recommended that do not take the command to the service layer so this command should not be taken in the service layer because this command is exclusively made for the view purpose or this command is ex exclusively uh, based on the command design pattern which is communicating to the form so when you have form command will work there so this is about the architecture and we strongly recommend all the developers in the project must follow the common architecture because if they are not following this common standard and they are using their own way to develop the code probably after four or five years your project will be unmanaged and difficult to handle so when you have this kind of some standard structure or architecture in your project every developer will follow the common way so that your code will be consistent well organized and modular so that's all for this video if you have any queries regarding uh, this video you can ask in comments and uh, you can subscribe my channel to get more updates and thank you very much for now see you in next video